one. Now here we are going to look at some more date time intelligence functions. I know previously we have already covered the date time functions, but again I got some more uh, date time intelligence functions which I believe worth mentioning that's gonna help you on your job all right so those functions which i'm going to cover over here are weekday function which gives you the name of the day which comes in a week for example sunday monday tuesday etc and that is something which will be based on the given date as input next function which i'm going to cover over here is date add what does that mean is that i will show you by the help of example with the help of an example what is the practical use of it how it can be useful how it can add value in your data analysis or making the relevant data okay now let's just move to the power bi and see how we can use these functions in real life work so here i am in power bi and over here let's say i'm creating a visual over here and for that i want to use day and then total bill so that's what I use over here. Then I also want to split it basis on city. So what precisely I want to see is the transaction which took place by month. Okay. So now what by month and this city. So now I just need to drill it down further. So this is what I can do. Now here is what I got. Okay. Next thing which I need to do is see. So now here I can see in the January we had the highest sales by each of the city and then um, we had lower than that in february and so on now i am interested in seeing the transaction distribution by weekdays what day in a week was having highest sales amount right so how can i get that so for that first of all we require to have a column in our data with day name okay so let me take you to the table view over here and let's see how can we add that so for example i need to click new column and then we require to create a new column with the help of a function so let me call it weekday and over here i'm just going to use this function weekday over here i'm going to use credit card transaction date and over here i just need to use this is split as well so this comes date and then not necessarily actually i can just end it over here just hit enter close this and hit enter so over here you are going to get the numbers now this you might be thinking why am i getting a date uh, number over here instead of getting the weekday name so that you get for that what you need to do is you need to use another function on top of it which is called format okay each of these numbers represent to a date for example let's say one represents to sunday fourth represents to wednesday something like that okay and then over here i'm going to supply the format in double quotation i need to supply the format which is dt dt okay and just close this bracket and the quotation as well and just hit enter the moment you do it if you have a fast system the quickly you are going to get over here all right so now you see over here we have wednesday friday monday etc we got that now you just come back over here and create your visual so the visual which i'm looking for is a bar chart or maybe you can also say it as a column chart now weekday i want to see at x-axis and total bill i want to see in like this right if you want to split it by city you can just stack it on top of it okay so now here is what we got which we were looking all right now let me take you to the other example where we need to see the next function so for example here we have the transaction date in credit card what happens whatever the day the customer makes the transaction credit card companies provide some grace period to be pay the bill so let's consider uh, usually in credit card what happens is you do the transaction then by a given date bill gets generated and after that you get a grace period of approximately 10 to 20 days okay now here we are going to provide the grace period basis on the transaction date no bill generation date okay so let's say this is the transaction date which we have got and from the transaction date we want to give the grace period of 20 days now we need to tell the customer on what date they need to make the payment before what date they need to make the payment so for that we need to calculate the due date and for that purpose i need to add a new column which is says let's say new column 
and I would name it as due date due date and over here I'm going to use the function date add all right and into this I need to provide the column name which is available in credit card transactions and that is date now you as soon as you put that you need to choose one of this item so precisely currently we want to add the days so that's where I'm going to choose date because this is the complete date and out of that what unit you want to use for addition or whatever it is okay so for that purpose I chose date now how many number of days that you want to add so that is 20 if you want to subtract you just need to write minus 20 okay and then what unit that you want to add what interval that you want to add that is day month quarter year what it is so that is day so i just need to choose that close the bracket and hit enter as soon as i do that here i'm going to get a new series of date here is i can't right now let's just do a little bit of formatting here it is showing day and time both what i'm interested in is only date all right so as soon as i do that here again i'm going to Get the day in this exact same format as i had the transaction date now let me just collapse this so that it could show me bigger view now over here you see you have the transaction date 20 february and due date you have as 12th march which is 20 february plus 12 20 days okay now here is what you got now if you want to make another visual basis on this due date and you want to understand by what date you want you are going to receive what i mean how much of the amount then again you can create another line chart and you can have that view so for example let's let me just copy paste this one and into this i'm just going to change the instead of date column i'm going to use due date from here all right i got this right so let me just take this down and further maybe you can adjust the dates something like this all right and you can do for the deep dive you can you can do the drilling at whatever the way you want right all right so you see this is giving you the view of the day uh, i mean due date transaction amount by what time you can receive how much of the amount right so this is it in this video i just hope that it was easy for you to understand just in case if you get in doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out until then happy learning wish you very all the best